also known as a timeline. Oh, United played yesterday and won nine 0 against Southampton with a couple of dubious uh, penalty and red card calls. Um, very very strange. No, sorry. Well, I guess a potential dubious red card call and then Arsenal lost and then had two players sent off for both uh, dubious reasons too um, and this kind of opened up a wider conversation in the UK which is something really tired and people have obviously spoke about this ad nauseum but the standard of refereeing in the Premier League or the lack of um, acknowledgement of how bad it is is very concerning like it's terrible the officials are horrible it was always going to be the fact though right whenever VAR came in I was always under the assumption you see a lot in politics, right? Whenever someone gets something wrong, because there's some there's this weird idea in politics or in public life that you're not meant to get things wrong. You're meant to be an oracle of all wisdom. So when you do have a little bit of a social faux pas, you're kind of encouraged to just deflect, right? And try your best to spin that story into something positive for yourself. Even though the stuff that you got wrong is a negative per se, you're just encouraged to always do that. So when it comes to referees, I wasn't surprised that when VAR got introduced, which is the video assisting referee, which essentially allows referees in football to um, consult a screen on the side of the pitch in order to make sure that they got their decision right or wrong. Now, the process is a bit complicated. Sometimes if there's a foul on the pitch and a referee missed it, VAR can ignore, let them know and then they can decide to go to the side of the pitch. Or it's a case of the referee um, then requesting the assistance of the, of the virtual assistant in order to kind of get more information and maybe get a second opinion on what happened. But regardless, the whole crux of the issue is that there's a screen on the side of the pitch that allows the referee to see the incident from various angles, slowed down, sped up, so that they can make a far more informed decision. Because you know, it's you know, mistakes are going to happen. You're you're at the you know at the top of the footballing ladder. The players are you know of a far better quality. The ball moves very fast, especially in the Premier League, especially in all English football, in all leagues in England. To be honest, um, that's one thing that people kind of um, always say about our footballing style is that the ball does move around the pitch very quickly. Players go into each other 100 miles per hour. You know, sometimes you might miss things. So the screen is basically there to assist these referees, to give them um, an idea, a help, a point as to how they can go about doing whatever they're going to do next This in terms of decision. But it was to no surprise to me that when VAR got introduced, it actually led to, it actually led to more mistakes once they consult the screen or with the screen being in this place than what it was prior. Because what ends up happening is that you don't want to look a fool. So you don't want to go to the screen, see something you obviously missed, and then go back and rescind it. That takes somebody with, you know, um, uh, a moral backbone, right? That takes somebody with some sort of level of character and integrity. You want to just, you know, pretend that you are right and basically write off and say, no, I didn't miss nothing and continue on. Or you just want to purposely fudge the rules and you know just do some like if again the the, the the arsenal one is an odd one because the david louise one i think no one is suggesting that it's not a penalty even though it's a soft penalty no one's just because you know that that same incident outside the box is always going to be a free kick it happens all the time uh, a player purposely crosses in, crosses in front of another one they either clip themselves or they get clipped and it's always a free kick it's annoying but it is always a free kick it is what it is um cool that happens but if it's a penalty because it's in the box and you know it's a foul, why is it then a red card? Because it's not as if they stopped and got a clear goal scoring opportunity. Running in on goal, facing a goalkeeper is a 50 50 chance of scoring, I'd imagine. It's not like being in a penalty spot, right? There's so many other things outside of you just finishing, right? The defenders left and right, other players distracting you, the goal gets smaller and smaller because the goalkeeper is coming out. It's not as easy as people think just to go and score one on one. So you would imagine there'd be a little bit more understanding around that but it doesn't seem to be it just seems to be this real okay let's go by the letter of the rule letter of the law and then when the letter of the law doesn't fit let's maybe switch how we're doing it and then go from another letter it's just a very very confusing to kind of understand exactly where we are at with football and where it's at with the rules but it must be really annoying for a player you can't really celebrate goals you can't get too excited after games because you never know when something's just going to get completely pulled up um, you could go into a really like, you know, aggressive, you know, send a message. Sort of challenges are kind of off the table unless you really get the ball and you clear it the other way, right? They're kind of off the table now. 
because when you rewind those things in slow motion they look horrible right those kind of crunching tackles in from the side that defenders do in order to kind of you know stamp their foot in the game disrupt the rhythm of the opposing team you can't really do that anymore and it should turn into a weird game it's kind of turning into what basketball's turning into now where it's essentially non-contact right yeah? any form of contact you can flop on the floor and gain advantage for your team um it's a bit strange but hey i guess that is the nature of the beast but again it's just interesting to see that there is no recourse they never get pulled up on what they're actually doing and what they're doing right what they're doing wrong it's just uh no nah, let's just continue as normal you know you made a mistake or did you um let's just go from there so it's, it's a strange process but what can you do